Hi there, we're going to have a look at how to download, install and use Racekeeper's Comparo HD data analysis software. So, the first thing you want to do is open up your browser and go to the web address www.race-keeper.com Once you're there, then up the top drop down bar, go support, downloads. The top two files are what we're going to download today, the first being the data software itself and the next one being some example HDX2 video and data. In this instance it's some truck racing that takes place at Silverstone Race Circuit in the UK. Once those files have been downloaded, what you want to do is right click on the example video zip file and choose extract all and extract those files to the desktop. Once those files have been extracted, you can delete the zip file that you originally downloaded. Now double click on Racekeeper Comparo, if this box comes up just click run. Now next button, accept the terms and conditions, keep clicking next and then the program starts to install. On the final window it will ask you whether you want to open Comparo upon completion, leave that tick box checked and start Racekeeper Comparo. Let's maximise the window after getting rid of that checkbox. Maximise the window. Let's click open, expand this a little bit further and then up the top left where we've got Comparo library we're going to click explore PC, click on the desktop and find the folder with the uh, example truck racing footage. Okay, We can preview the video in the, uh, in the window to make sure it's the file that we want and it plays perfectly fine. So we select that and then click open. This opens the video file. So this is the general window that we'll be introduced to. We'll just uh, change the appearance of the page slightly. Just put on lateral and inline G and then we'll just turn on some gauges. The way you turn on and turn off gauges in Comparo is by going up to the Configure drop-down and select Gauge Manager. Uh, we'll turn on the speedo dial and the digital readout of speed as well. We'll um, turn on the accelerometer. Um, choose that design and no, we don't need any more gauges at this moment in time. What we can do is press spacebar to play the video and then left click drag the gauges around and if we hold shift whilst left clicking and dragging then we scale them up and down. If you double click on the video then you'll see a lot more data than you do in the basic format and it looks a bit messy so let's go and remove some of those bits of data. So back in Gauge Manager, we need to scroll down to this next bit where you'll see all these tick boxes are already selected. So let's untick some of the ones we don't want. Yeah, lap number, lap timer, yeah. And closing that. Go back to full screen and you can see a lot of the text has now been removed. So let's just drag lap times over there, scale the track map up a little bit, um, move the picture in picture up to the top and just make things a little bit more visually appealing. Scale down some of the graphics, move the speedo, uh, the speed reading, sorry, and then hit spacebar to play the video. Whoops. <laughs> okay, so spacebar to pause the video again, double click to exit from full screen mode. Now if we press M we can go to the map screen. What this does is plots our GPS position around the track and we can change what data appears as a rainbow map on the track. We can drag this uh, window over to make the video a lot clearer. As you can see as I'm clicking around the map the video is updating and if I press spacebar again the video plays and stops again. 
pressing I, we go to the lap info page. Now, this is showing us at the lap times at this moment in time because at the moment we haven't created any sectors in our track map. You've got the show splits or show sectors button at the top here. What we need to do is press M to go back to map and then right click at certain points around the track to insert splits. So let's insert a few splits randomly around the track. And then we press I to go back to the lap info and then hit show splits button. And there you go. The lap has been segmented up into various sectors. Uh, the green indicating which were the fastest sectors and at the very top you've got a target time which strings together all your best sectors. If you press G you go onto the data graph and here we can just view various bits of um, information as pure data lines. Again if you left click anywhere through the data the video on the left updates. Pressing X to get back to the main screen. Let's now compare two laps by going to the top of the page and hitting the compare button. You can also access this by pressing C on your keyboard. Select the same outing and all of a sudden we've got two outings. Uh, at this moment in time it's the same lap selected so let's just check and select two separate laps of a similar time. Uh, you'll see that the videos are out of sync so let's hit return to synchronize the videos and then play them. Let's move the picture in picture around the screen, get it out of the way. And what we can see here is the speed trace which is very similar for these two laps which were very similar in time. Now if we go back into gauge manager we can turn on a delta time display. Now this gauge shows only in video 1 and it shows whether video 1 is faster or slower than video 2. So because the lap times are very similar between these two laps the difference between them is, is pretty small. Um, if we go down the bottom of this gauge list we can turn on the delta trace and you can see we're talking maximum of just over 0.2 of a second. Uh, if we pick two different laps which are a lot bigger in time difference, this one here you can see a massive swing looking at the scale on the right it's over two and a half seconds the difference so let's click and see what's going on here, his, his tyre's gone already um, and he's off the track and that's where all the time is being lost. So you can now see that the two videos, if we pause at this point, are out of sync. So we need to hit return to bring picture two up to the same GPS location and then hit spacebar to play the video again. If we hit spacebar, we go to configure gauge manager and maybe just tidy up some of the displays on the screen. So let's turn off the speedo, turn off the G sensor, scale down the delta gauge, move it around the screen, maybe downscale the speedo reading as well, uh, position them down in the bottom corner. Because the data which drives the gauges are captured as a separate file, you have full configurability of both how the video appears and also how the data appears. So if we press U to uncompare the videos, what we then might want to do is export our fastest lap to YouTube. So by clicking HD Fast Lap Export and picking picture in picture, just moving some of the displays around. Um, if we're going to stick with what we've got, we will in this instance. So just move a few things about the page. And then click the export button. Decide where you want to save the file and away you go. So there you go, that was just some basic training on how to use the Compara HD software. What I would definitely recommend is that you go onto the Racekeeper website and actively download a copy of Comparo and also this sample video from the truck racing at Silverstone and give it a go yourself, it really is that easy.
Thank you for watching this video on how to download, install and use Racekeeper's Comparo HD video data logging software. For more information on Racekeeper, be sure to visit www.race-keeper.com.